Hello, in this video, I am going to talk about Nirenberg and Matthias experiment, and the Nirenberg and Reeder's experiment, and how they craft the genetic code. Nirenberg took a bunch of E. coli bacteria and made an extract out of it. The extract had tRNA and radioactive amino acid, but the one we want to focus on is ribosomes, because it is what reads messenger RNA and attaches the amino acid together to form polypeptides. So when Nirenberg was away, Matthias' discovery was basically he put polyURNA, which the code is basically UUUU, to the E. coli extract, and found out that it formed a long radioactive polypeptide chain. When translated, they found that the genetic code for UUU is the amino acid phenylalanine. So Nirenberg and Matthias did the same experiment except for with poly A and poly C and they discover that the code on AAA is coded for lysine, and the code on CCC is coded for proline. But what about codons with different bases like CUA, GCG, and so on? This is where Nirenberg and Leder's experiment comes in. They put one specific codon, in this example, GCA, ribosomes, and tRNA that are attached with various amino acids through a filter. The filter is designed to filter out unbinded tRNA and leave, the, and leave the binded tRNA on top. In our example, the codon GCA will bind with the ribosome and its corresponding tRNA and amino acid, which is CGU alanine. Afterwards, it is tested for radioactivity. If the radioactive amino acid is found present on the filter paper, that means the codon being tested which is GCA, corresponds with that amino acid, which is alanine. In conclusion, Nirenberg and Matthias' experiment were able to identify three codons, and Nirenberg's experiment with Leder identified the remaining 61 codons to create the genetic code we use now.